So this is a short video on explaining how an eco-cooler works. So what you see on your screen is an actual eco-cooler in action. So if you see what these guys are doing is they have this board that they're connecting to the wall of a house. And on the board are these, um, you know, uh, plastic bottles with the, you know, with the uh, bigger end of the bottle outside and the, the nose of the bottle uh, inside. So the way, the reason it's bigger on the outside is so it can suck more air from outside into it. And that's really to suck more air from the outside into it. And the way this works is, let me stop sharing. And the way this works is, um, it works where as the air enters through here and goes through this small out outing, as the air goes through this, it actually gets compressed. And when the air com is compressed, the pressure increases. And the increase in pressure is actually going to increase the temperature of the air. And this is called adiabatic heating. Now, the temperature of the air is actually increased as it is inside here. But as the air flows out inside the room, it expands. And when the air expands, the pressure decreases, which will cause the decrease in the temperature. And that is called adiabatic cooling. Now, the, pre the air is going through here, and the bigger outing means that more air will suck in. And as the air is going through it, the air is getting compressed through this nozzle, and the, in the temperature is increasing. But the moment the air leaves it, the temperature is actually going to drop because the pressure has gone down. Now, this drop in temperature due to the expansion of compressed air as it flows out of the bottle is due to the principle of Joule-Thomson effect. So really the way eco-cooler works is it sucks in the air, it compresses it. As it compresses, the pressure increases, hence the temperature increases. But as it leaves, the pressure decreases and the temperature decreases. So inside the house, the air is going to be cooler than what it was outside. And this is due to the, the Joule-Thomson effect and the increase in uh, pressure here is called adiabatic heating. And when it leaves, the decrease in pressure causing the decrease in temperature is called adiabatic cooling. And that's really the, the principle behind eco-cooler. I hope this works. This helps.